What is up everybody? Here we go. Oh, all right. Kind of a cold day here. Gloomy, dark, unfortunate, but that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about the five things I hate about this KTM 690. So this is a 2021 KTM 690 SMCR with the longest damn name in the world. And there's some things that I like about it. There's some things I don't like about it. And I'm going to go over the things I don't like about today. So join me on this adventure as I go to Walmart. See, this guy has the right idea. Yeah, let's ride, man. 64 degrees. He's got his vest and everything on. He's, he's a lot cooler than me. Anyway. <clears throat> Geimer shine. Alright, let's get through the tunnel and then go through first number one. Oh, so good. Alright, so the number one thing, or I should say the first thing that I hate about this 690 is, like everybody else, the damn seat. Oh my goodness, is this thing? I mean, it's a you're uh you're sitting on a two by four essentially it is extremely uncomfortable and well i guess it is a, a dirt bike seat you know that's the whole point of this thing but it is just not pleasant for the street long trips suck uh short trips even are kind of suck sometimes i mean i feel like i lose feeling in my ass so quick but it's just not comfortable and Everybody says get the, the seat comforts concept or seat concepts comfort seat or whatever the hell it is and honestly I just think it's ugly but it would work probably better but at the same time I, I don't know I don't want to pay an extra two hundred dollars just for the seat it uh, it just doesn't doesn't work well I don't know but I did put a seat cover on it so at least it made it look cooler. But I tell you what, it didn't do anything for the comfort. Not one bit. My goodness. Like, it was, I don't know, definitely a, a piece from the old bin that KTM had laying around. So it's screw We'll just put this seat on. But that leads me into my second gripe about this bike. And it's the dash. And I should say, preface that more, the dash and the electronics. Um, yeah, you get no information. You get nothing. You get your miles per hour, your time, and essentially your miles. There's no fuel gauge, there's no RPM gauge, there's really nothing else. There's a little check engine light that comes on, which has come on because of the power commander, but I mean, come on, KTM, like, you're paying a good amount of money for this bike. At least upgrade the dash a little bit. Give me a little bit better options. And I mean, it just so looks, yeah, like it came off a. Of, 500 EXC adventure bike. I don't know. I just I wish they did a little bit better of a job with that. It uh, it needs more information. I know there's a company out there, and I'll put them on the screen now that make a really nice dash that I saw Lamb Chop Rides put on his 690, and that's probably the the future of where it needs to be. But you know, other than that, the electronics on it are just kind of rough. Sometimes the ABS light just randomly comes on. Sometimes you can't even get traction control off. It's just kind of a, a hit or miss. And with the map switches with two for performance. With two for performance mode and one for your street mode. It, it, there's not much of a difference. You feel it in the throttle but other than that it's just kind of worthless. I mean I, I think it should be one should be your street mode and two should automatically turn your abs you know off your traction control make it a real quote-unquote track mode like i don't know do it that way but i guess that leads me into the next gripe number three here on what i hate this transmission good lord i hate this gearbox transmission whatever you want to call it it is it has never been solid. It has been so spotty, so many false neutrals, especially, you know, when you're quick shifting. I mean, it, it's, I have missed shifts at the track. Now that, that could be rider, right? But 
still the gearbox is just so chunky I mean you you really got to force it up down whichever way you want to go and just pray that when you're going from second to third even quick shifting you don't somehow false neutral stuff which happens quite a bit but then again is there a resolution for that I don't know not really just you know get a, a steel foot and kind of slam your way through it I guess that's really where it sits but leads me into kind of my fourth dislike about this bike and we're going through these awfully fast maybe I should slow it down a little bit but my fourth dislike is it's not a good long distance bike now again most people would be like well duh you bought a supermoto like, yeah I get that but the whole point of a 690 to have a big single cylinder like that is to be able to actually kind of go places too you look at the kx 650s that you know people ride around the world you look at a lot of the other kind of bikes you know they're they're set up just better and honestly you know it, it just kind of long distance the seat sucks you don't have a lot of information on your dash you know it's it's not a very good distance bike it's just kind of awkward you know on my old supermotos like yeah you had to stop more to fill up and it was basically riding a dirt bike but i can actually get farther i rode my old honda all the way to ohio and back and it was and it was actually you know a pretty good ride i mean i, I thoroughly enjoyed it and i feel like i i just don't on this bike i don't know even in the comments below what you think of you know that is kind of a reason but you know I guess the fifth and final thing that I really hate about this bike is why I haven't fully fully fallen in love with it is because it's just a, a, a weird mix it's not a dirt bike supermoto but it's not a street bike you can classify it as both right it's a supermoto because it's set up to be a supermoto but it's heavy it's awkward with the gas tank in the rear it's just kind of big and you know i not really a super light fun supermoto but it's also not a comfortable nice long distance highway cruising street bike i mean most of the time like what are we fucking doing here people jesus It's not, you know, this kind of long, uh, here we go. It's, you know, the supposed to be this well-rounded bike and supposed to be the do-it-all kind of piece to it. I mean, it, kind of does everything but in my opinion it doesn't do one thing really well I mean it looks cool but at the same time it's just I don't know something about it it's it's kind of making me contemplate do I sell it buy the 890 Duke R and use that for the street and for the track and then do I buy a 450 and build it out to be a supermoto and then there you go I don't know it's just kind of weird but I guess a few bonus things number one gas tank in the rear now just because the gas tanks there it doesn't mean you know that's the worst place in the world it was funky at first for sure it feels the first time I rode it felt like I was pulling a trailer with all the extra weight but at any time and point that you fall wheelie mess up I've seen so many of these things just light on fire <laughs> because when you put a gas tank right next to a hot pipe good luck and you know speaking of that like with an exhaust right there too that's not a good place that's the main reason why I heat wrap the whole damn thing you know just to make sure I don't create extra heat for that gas tank but I don't know there's a lot to love and there's a lot not to love on this bike and I'm still even after a year of ownership kind of back and forth 
you know I want more of this or less of that and it's just sitting in its own awkward little place so I don't know hope you guys enjoyed it whether you agree disagree put it in the comments below I've seen a few of these and everybody kind of hits on the same topics so you get to see what a lot of people don't like about them but so as always keep running